This is the ELEC 1510 Logic Design Lecture 1 Video 1 on hex and octal numbers. This video corresponds to textbook section 1.3. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is just a review of decimal numbers, which are the type of numbers that we're used to seeing every day. Decimal numbers, or base 10 numbers, have each place in the number being a power of 10. There are also 10 digits that you often represent using decimal numbers, 0 through 9. As soon as you get to 9 and you add 1 to 9, you don't have another number above 9. You go back to a 1 and a 0, which are already um, numbers that you could have represented in that other place. So we only have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are no other symbols besides that. For example, 926 base 10, this base 10 right here means that it's a decimal number, is 9 times 10 squared, where the 2 for squared refers to the fact that it's in um, the seconds place up there, the 9, plus 2 times 10 to the first, where the first refers to the fact that it, this 2 is in the first place, plus 6 times 10 to the 0, where the 0 refers to the fact that the 6 is in the zeros place. So that's equal to 900 plus 20 plus 6, which again is just 926 base 10. So every place in a decimal number is a power of 10. It starts off with the power of 0, which is just 1. Binary numbers, by contrast, or are known as base 2 numbers, where each place is going to be a power of 2. We only have two di digits that we can represent in binary numbers, 0 and 1. Um, you could also call these high and low. It could be x and y if you wanted them to be. Um, you just use two different symbols to denote the two different states. Um, traditionally, it's always 0 and 1, though. So for example, the number 10101, which looks like 10,101, but it's a base 2 number because it has this little 2 subscript, is 1 times 2 to the 4th because this 1 place, or this leading 1 is in the 4th place, plus 0 times 2 cubed, that's right here, so I'm not going to write that over on the right side of the equal sign, plus 1 times 2 squared, that's for that 1, plus a 0 times 2 to the 1st, plus 1 times 2 to the 0. So each one of those is a power of 2. Whenever it's a 1, you have 1 times 2 to that power. Whenever it's a 0, you have 0 times 2 to that power. So that's going to equal 16 plus 4 plus 1, which is 21 base 10. So 10101 base 2 is equivalent to the number 21 in decimal. Octal numbers are another number base that we use um, in this class and in computer design. Octal numbers are base 8 numbers, so each place in an octal number is a power of 8. We have 8 digits that we can use, so again, whatever the base is, that's how many digits you have to represent. 0 through 7 are going to be the different digits that we can use in octal numbers. For example, 543 base 8 is 5 times 8 squared, because the 5 here is in the seconds place, plus 4 times 8 to the first power, because the 4 is in the first place, plus 3 times 8 to the 0, because the 3 is in the zeros place. So that equals 320, which is 5 times 8 squared, plus 32, which is 4 times 8 to the first, plus 3, and that comes out to 355 base 10. So 355 as a decimal number. Hexadecimal numbers are another number base that we use all the time. This is probably actually the most commonly used as you get deeper and deeper into computer design. Hexadecimal numbers are base 16 numbers, so each place is a power of 16. What's weird about this one is that we have to introduce some new characters because in the traditional number system that we use, we only have 0 through 9. So because we have to represent 16 different digits, for 10 through 15, we use A through F. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. So all of those can represent um, numbers in, in a hex system. 
So again, A is 10, F is 15, and the other letters are the numbers in between. So for example, F-A-C-E, which looks like the word face, in hex is actually 15 times 16 cubed, because F here is 15, as I had written right here. So because that F is in the thirds place, we've got 15 times 16 cubed plus 10, A is 10, times 16 squared, plus C here is 12, 12 times 16 to the first power, plus E, which is 14, times 16 to the zero. When we multiply everything out, that becomes 61,440 plus 2560 plus 192 plus 14 is 64,206 base 10. So essentially the word face, base 16, or face as a hex number is 64,206 base 10.